In today's video, we are going to talk about Ubuntu text editors option. Well, there are a lot of text editors that you can choose and use for your Ubuntu and other Linux distribution. But I'll talk about five such text editors that are really good and really easy to use. Some of them comes by default and some of them you have to download and install. The first one in my list is Atom. If I just search for Atom in here, this is how it looks like. So I'll just open this one. So this is how it looks like. From here, you can open an already existing project. You can control and you can connect it with your GitHub. And you have a lot of other options like you can install different packages. For example, you are working on Python and you need to install a package. You can do so. We have different themes available for our items and we have a lot of other things. We have some of the menu at the top. From here, you can open a new file, you can create a new file, you can open a folder and you can do a lot of other things. Let's create a new file and in here we can start coding our programs and we can use it for any other purposes as well. In case if you want to just close it, you just need to close these windows and you will have your text editor available and ready to be used. So that was all about the atom and let's move ahead. Number two, sublime text. Well, Sublime Text is one of those text editor that is loved by web developers, but now it is also being used by other developers as well. So even if you are not a web developer, you can still use this text editor and I'm sure you will love this one. So from here again, we have a lot of options like you can create a new file or you can open an existing file. You can open a folder, you can have an history of all those files that you have just opened recently and you can open them from here as well. And again, you have a lot of other options that you can go with this one. Other than that, you have a lot of other things like you can edit and in edit, you can cut paste and make a lot of other changes in terms of user interface and usability of your sublime text. Then in case if you want to install some packages, go to your preferences and here it says browse packages. From here, you can include all the packages into your sublime text for your ease. I'll just close this one. Now again, I'll go to my preferences and this time I'll go to my settings. So from here, you can do a lot of settings in terms of the usability and the user interface of your sublime text. For example, this is how it's going to look like. You can make different changes. You can go to and you can use different other things. So that was a brief introduction about sublime text. And now let's see what do we have next. Number three. Vim. For that, I need to open my terminal. So I'll open my terminal and in here I will just write here oh, Vim space bash rc. Before that, write here dot. So bash rc is a file that is available into my Ubuntu by default and Vim is a text editor. After hitting enter, a file something like this will open up. So Vim is also an editor. You can edit your file with the help of this text editor. And Vim is a very powerful editor. If you are a beginner, I would recommend you not to use this editor as it requires a lot of commands in order to edit your file and use it. For example, we cannot add anything into in here. In order to add some text or some commands, we have to go into insert mode. For that, I'll have to press I and now I am into insert mode as it says here. And now I can add anything into my this file. To get out of this file, we do not have a straight way. Again, we have to use a command which is colon, Q and this sign. And now if I hit enter, it will exit from this file without saving all the changes that I have done till now. So if I hit enter, we are out of it. Number four, nano. So as we have seen the Wim editor, nano is also a text editor that comes by default and pre-installed into our Ubuntu. Vim comes with some Linux distribution and in some Linux distribution we have to install it but Nano comes in almost every Linux distribution. So I will again use the same command but I will just write here Nano instead of Vim hit enter. So now we are into our file but the difference is we can straight away edit this file. We do not have to go into our insert mode and this is more of a straightforward text editor to edit our documents. For example, if you want to copy anything, you just need to highlight this line, right click on it, copy it and you just need to paste it wherever you want to paste it just like this one. So this is how you can use your nano text editor and it is much easier to use and it is much easier to understand. And even if you are a beginner, you do not need a lot of commands onto your Linux on onto your terminal in order to use this one. If you are a beginner, you can still use it. 
Now, in order to exit from it, there is not a straight way as well. But we have a help. As you can see down here, it says X for exit. So just press Control X from here. If you want to save changes into your this file, press yes or Y and hit enter. In case if you do not want to save changes, press no. I will press N and I will just get out of this. That was all about the Nano. And let's see what is the last text editor that we are going to talk about. The last text editor that I'm going to talk about is Gedit. It is also the default text editor in my Ubuntu. First of all, let's make a file. So I will write here touch file.txt hit enter. So we have created the file successfully. Now I'll use gedit text editor in order to open my file.txt. So I will just write here gedit space file.txt and now if I hit enter, it will open a text editor for me just like this one. So you can use this text editor to add anything into your file. You can start programming, you can write your script into this one and you can execute this file from your terminal directly. So this is how it looks like and this is how gedit works. From here, you can open other files in here directly. You can save this file directly by clicking on this button and you have a lot of other options. For example, here we have view tools and if you go into your preferences, it will allow you to do a lot of other things in terms of font and colors, plugins, editors and many more things. So you can have different colors into your gedit text editor as well. And that was all about the gedit and that brings us to the end of today's video. So these were some of the five text editor that I had talked about in this video. I hope now that you must have liked this one. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.